The thing to know about John is once he's motivated and he's committed, there's nothing he won't do to accomplish what he wants to do. Really, it was uh, it was a lot of just me, you know. I, I had to focus on myself. My dad was never there. He was uh, in and out of prison. And my mom started to get into drugs real bad once I started to get a little older. So Jonathan had a very rough childhood. He um, had a lot of family issues. I could say that I, I, n I never really wanted to go home. Home was not a, a safe place for me. It was tough when uh, my senior year of high school came around and I wasn't able to finish. I was homeless. <laughs> I had basically a garbage bag full of clothes and that was it. He had a goal in high school to play college football. Football gave me that feeling of, you know, friendship and family and somebody that would take care of me and I would never have to worry about any of them really stabbing me in the back or, you know, going to prison. <laughs> Football was my escape. I didn't have to go home and look at reality. What really made me want to go back to school is my girlfriend, Caitlin. Once I left, left high school, I ended up talking to her, and now we've been together for three years. <laughs> for the longest time, her parents didn't want her to be with me because of where I came from and because of who I was. I didn't even have my GED. I didn't have a driver's license or even a birth certificate. I just didn't want to fail her or, you know, me, for example. I, I wanted to make her happy. So he attempted to get his GD multiple times. In my English and my history and science, I passed the first time when I took my GD test. And when I went to take the math test, I failed it five to six times after I had already passed those other three. When John came in, he did tell me about the failures and the things that he had experienced with the other GED program he was in. It was two days a week for an hour, and we didn't really get much, so we didn't really get much time. And the, sometimes the guy just wouldn't show up. There would be like two to three weeks sometimes where he just, we wouldn't have class. But when he got to the portion that was hardest for him, which is math, he decided he wanted to quit. KCC is down there, they have the KSET program, and I'll, I'll join. The whole KSET program, the idea of moving adult education back onto a community college campus, and particularly at KCC, I think the real reasoning behind that was um, we wanted to be able to get those people on campus, give them a campus experience, let them know that there were pathways to other kinds of academics. So every student that enrolls in KSET is considered a KCC student. I think one of the great things that the KSET program brings to somebody's life is an opportunity for a second chance. And I studied for about six months with the KSET program and passed my GED. He just stuck with the program. I mean, he used, utilized all the extra help. He took his test in December and graduated. He is our first graduate of our program. I see a whole different John. I mean, when I speak with him now, he's got a lot more confidence. Um, he looks like he has a future. In college now, and I got straight A's. <laughs> I'm pretty excited for John. He's gonna go far and do a lot of great things. And he says that his success right now in the classroom and being ready for college classes was all because of our program and the one-on-one -on -one attention that we gave him. Thanks to your donations to Goodwill, young men like Jonathan, are able to get a great education. Your donation to Goodwill made John the story behind the store. Thanks to your donation to Goodwill, we're putting people on a pathway to success. Thanks to your donation to Goodwill, I have a great future now.